Hello everyone and welcome to Split Second. This week we bring you a slightly different video. It is from the tournament Playmax 2 Final Match, where Ball managed to climb his way to the top 4 finalists. From the current standings in the tournament, going first we have Battle Shatner piloting his own list for Creek's Son of Yogmoth. Ball is going second and he's piloting Comedian's Don Waker Thrasios. Third place at the table we have Vasher piloting his take on Team Rent Thrasios. And last but not least we have Yukarin CDH playing his Grixis Malcolm Exploitation deck. For this match we only have Ball's opening hand, who mulligan once and didn't want to go lower than 7 cards. He was happy enough with some ramp like Springless Drum to try to land Seedborn Muse early and grind value with her and Thrasius, with the help of Delay and Deflecting Sword for interaction. Before showing the match we want to specially thank all of the PlayADH staff and judges that did a great job at this tournament and another special thank you to each participant in this final table for the great game and letting us record and show the match. Ready? Let's go! Battle Shatner starts the game drawing, playing a Swamp and casting a Mox Diamond, discarding another Swamp. He still taps the Mox for red to cast Soul Ring, passing afterwards, all set up to cast Creek on his next turn. Ball draws and fears the opposition agent mana, so he plays an untapped Steam Vents and casts Springleaf Drum, finishing the turn. Vesher is not so fearful of the agent, as he plays and cracks a Verdant Catacombs, successfully searching for a Savannah. He shortcuts to a Chromox, imprinting a Chain of Vapor and casting a turn 1 Dranith Magistrate, which might give the table some time. Yukarin CDH starts his turn with a Command Tower, and the Dranith set him back quite a bit, so he just passes. Shatner draws, plays a City of Traitors and casts a Bioblight, targeting Dranith Magistrate. It resolves and he goes ahead, casting his Commander, Creek, son of Yogmoth but passes the turn afterwards with 3 cards in hand. Val draws, plays the Wooded Foothills and cracks it for a Savannah, shortcutting it to cast his Thrasius, getting Swat online as he passes. Vasher fails to draw a land, so he casts a Sylvan Library and passes. On his end step though, Yukarin flashes in a Spectral Sailor before moving to his turn. He draws, plays a Volcanic Island and being free from the Dranith, he casts his Jeweled Lotus, which he cracks right away to cast his commander Malcolm Kindai Navigator. He then proceeds to combat and attacks Shatner with the Sailor, reducing potential Creek mana. Malcolm triggers and he gets a treasure, passing afterwards. Shatner starts his turn floating 4 generic mana from the city and the ring, and casts a final parting, paying 4 life due to Creek's ability, and triggering him gaining a plus 1 plus 1 counter. This final parting can be the end of the match, however, as players pass priority, Yukarin responds with a mana drain, one of the best counters for it, as it will net him 5 generic mana in his next main phase. Shatner is not done just yet, as he uses his last floating mana and the Mox to cast a Violent Tumber, paying 4 life to it, triggering Creek for another plus 1 plus 1 counter. It resolves and he searches for a Vilis to his graveyard. He then goes to combat and attacks Vasher for 4 commander damage, and gaining 4 life, finishing his turn. Val plays his Emergence Zone and after some consideration he casts a Rest in Peace, which nullifies Shatner's reanimation plan, as well as any possible breach lines from Yukarin. Still with the interaction up, he passes. Vesher's library triggers and after drawing 3 he keeps only 1, paying no life as he found a Misty Rainforest, which he plays. He now discusses with the table that he has the potential to remove Malcolm, but in return he asks Shatner not to attack him for 3 turns, as he shows his play is a Gilded Drake, and he doesn't want to get hit by the Gilded Drake and Creek every turn cycle. He fears Malcolm's potential to combo with Buccaneer more than Creek at this point in time, and as the politics go on the stack, Shatner is only okay with a peace treaty lasting 2 turns and not 3 and Vasher ends up signing it, casting the Drake and stealing Malcolm. He then cracks his Misty Rainforest for an Underground Sea and passes. On his end step still, Yukarin casts a Mystical Tutor, however as everyone passes priority, Vasher responds with his Spell Pierce, probably saving the table here. Yukarin goes to his turn and adds 5 colorless mana in his first main phase due to Mana Drain. He uses 3 to help activate Spectral Sailor to draw a card. He then plays a Verdant Catacombs and cracks it for an Underground Sea, following it with his own Gilda Drake. It resolves and after some thinking about whether he retrieves his Malcolm or not, he gets Shatner's Creek, which also helps his Greeks' shenanigans. He declines attacks and passes. Shatner gets to his turn and starts by transmuting Shred Memory, not yet sure of what to get. Ball fears a DT into Homeward Path, but what he doesn't know is that Shatner already has Homeward Path in hand, so he does get a Demonic Tutor to maintain his options open. He then goes to combat and attacks Yukarin for 2 before passing. Ball top decks and plays a Tundra. He ponders for a bit and decides to go for it, casting his Seedborn Muse, which after some cries from the table, it resolves. So he passes the turn and he and Vasher untap together. Vasher pays 8 life to keep all 3 cards from the library, as he and everyone else is looking for answers to beat Ball. 
He casts his Timna and proceeds to combat, attacking Baal with Malcolm, triggering it for a treasure. On his second main phase, Timna triggers and he pays one life to draw a card. He then plays a Tundra and casts an Elves of Deep Shadow, moving to his end step, where Baal activates Thrasius, scrying to the bottom and revealing an Emil, further enlarging the target on his head. Yukarin gets to his turn, draws and casts his commander Vile Smasher, paying 1 Firex a mana due to Creek's ability, triggering it to get a plus 1 plus 1 counter. He then swings Creek at Baal for 5 damage, and he takes it. Yukarin then passes, and on his end step, Baal activates Thrasius, scrying and revealing a Gaius Cradle that comes into play tapped. We're back to Shatner's turn, and he floats 2 colorless with the City of Traitors, just before playing his Homeward Path, which he does activate, returning all creatures to their owner's control. He proceeds with his Demonic Tutor, paying life and triggering Creek for another counter. Baal responds to it with his delay, and the table doesn't fight over it, as it could also just give the win to Shatner. He then goes to combat and attacks Baal with his Valiant Tumber before passing. On his end step, Baal activates Thrasius, scrying a land to the bottom, as his math comes out to him being able to go for it with the current mana, since there's close to 20 damage on the board currently. He reveals a Birds of Paradise and gets to his turn. He top decks a Windswept Teeth that he cracks for a Taiga. He ponders his options and ends up casting his Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Seedborn Muse as an additional cost. This way, he either wins or removes the target from his head and keeps grinding the match. Yukarin responds with a miscast, to which Bal responds with a deflecting SWAT, and still in response, Vasher casts a dispel on the SWAT. Bal didn't go for his Birds of Paradise as fodder for evolution, as he was mostly fearing a fluster storm and didn't want to increase the storm count. He could pay for the miscast, but it wouldn't work as Dockside would only provide 4 treasures, and it wasn't enough for his Emil combo, so in order to show he's out of the game, he cast Findorn Elves, followed by Birds of Paradise passing with a single card in hand, the Emil. As he does this, he notices he just shot himself in the foot by going under 4 mana to activate Thrasius. Vasher's library triggers and he pays 8 to draw 2 additional cards. He goes straight into combat, attacking Shatner with Timna, triggering her in the second main phase and drawing 1 extra card. He casts his commander, Thrasius, and plays a Gemstone Caverns before passing. Yukarin goes to his turn and on his upkeep, he casts a Limdol's Vault, triggering Vile Smasher and dealing 2 damage to Baal. Vasher considers responding for a second, but lets it resolve. Yukarin repeats this process twice, paying 2 life, and after drawing, he jumps to combat, attacking Baal with the Sailor and Shatner with Malcolm, connecting and creating 2 treasures. He goes to his second main phase and casts a Valky God of Lies, which after the Limdol's Vault, Baal warns Vasher that it could be worthy countering this, as he could be looking for Baal's Emil to combo with his own Dockside Exorcionist, having Spectral Sailor as an outlet. It ends up resolving and he exiles Balthor the Defiled, Emil, and reveals quite a strong hand from Vasher. Without further actions, he passes. On Shatner's upkeep, he removes one counter from the suspended DT and draws. He goes to combat and attacks Yukarin, who doesn't block. He passes after that. Bal draws and passes straight away, without anything else other than Thrasius' activations. In his end step, Vasher activates his own Thrasius, scrying to the bottom and revealing an overgrown tomb. He gets to his turn and library triggers, and he pays 4 life to keep one extra card. He seems to have found a way out, so he starts with a Veil of Summer. Paul responds with a Thrasius activation, scrying to the bottom and revealing a Ponder, passing priority. It resolves and then Vasher casts a Vampiric Tutor. He then goes to combat and attacks Shatner with his Drake. Before getting to his second main phase, Bal attempts to channel a Bazejo on Timna, so she doesn't trigger, preventing Vasher to draw the Tutor card, momentarily mistaking the legal options with Otto Aros targets and not only being an illegal target for the ability, as well as Bazeja's ability to search for a land is not mandatory, the game is rewound. Timna triggers and Vasher pays one life to draw the tutored card. He then channels his own Bazeja, targeting Rest in Peace, and Bal searches for a volcanic island. Vasher then casts his Oriok Salvagers, and the table is bracing for impact. Bal then responds by cracking his Emergence Zone to cast spells as though they had Flash. He then casts his Ponder and does find something, so in order to avoid a king-making play, he asks Yukarin to show his hand, since he did cast Limdol's Vault and still knows 3 cards from the top. Yukarin goes as far as saying the top card of his library is a Jeska's Will, and this way Bal decides to finish his Ponder and casting a Ranger Captain of Eos, asking Vesher not to combo as Bal would simply stop him, and that way the Ranger can be on the table to possibly stop Yukarin if he also goes for the win. With the whole discussion, Bal ends up forgetting the Ranger's trigger and both creatures resolve, creating an interesting stalemate. Yukarin gets to his turn, drawing the Jeska's Will and proceeding to combat right away, attacking Vesher for 5 and the Sailor towards Shatner, triggering Malcolm, creating 2 treasures and passing the turn. Shatner is one turn away from his Demonic Tutor. 
He plays a swamp and the table is now discussing how the dominoes would fall if one player were to be dealt with, since each one at the table is still playing a crucial role preventing others from winning. Vasher is representing infinite mana, target removal and stack protection. Yukarin has the flying damage to kill Vasher or bring out his March of the Swirling Mists. And if any player were to go off first and force Bao to pop his Ranger Captain, it could mean the next player in turn order would have the clear path to victory. This way, Shatner pays 6 life to cast a Besiege the Queen, triggering Creek for a counter and searching for a Buried Alive, which he proceeds to cast, paying 2 more life and getting another counter on Creek, and searching for Asmodeus, Scourge Familiar and Necrotic Ooze. He then goes to combat and attacks Yukarin for 10 commander damage, and he blocks with Vile Smasher, letting her stay in the graveyard as fodder for Underworld Breach. Shantner proceeds to his second main phase and casts a Corpse Dance, paying 2 life, triggering Creek once again, and attempting to return the top card of his graveyard to play, which is his Necroticus, that would have Asmodeus the Archfiend and Scourge Familiar's ability, allowing him to pay 3 black mana to draw 7 cards, and then discard unwanted cards to generate more black mana in order to draw 7 more cards, over and over until he finds his way out. Bal does not crack his ranger, but responds by channeling Bozejo targeting Vasher's Sylvan Library, so he can get a blue source of mana to cast his Swan Song and stop Shatner. He gets a Tropical Island and casts the Swan Song, so everyone's back to the stalemate. In Bal's upkeep, he activates Thrasius, scrying to the bottom and revealing a Wild Growth, as he needs the top two cards from his Ponder. He top decks and casts a Kinan Bonder Prodigy, passing the turn. Vasher's existence is hanging by a thread, so he attacks Shatner with Timna hoping to gain some life, and Shatner does block her with the bird. In his second main phase, he recasts Timna as a blocker and passes, hoping to survive Yukarin's attack. In his end step, Yukarin activates Spectral Sailor to draw a card and proceeds to his turn. He draws and casts a Curiosity on his Malcolm and attacks Shatner with him, and Baal with the Sailor, triggering Malcolm for two treasures. He moves phases and we're back to Shatner. In his upkeep, he removes the last counter from Demonic Tutor and casts it. Bal is still counting on Vasher's March of the Swirling Mist, but still activates Thrasis once, scrying to the bottom and revealing a Zerda the Dawn Waker. He activates Thrasis again, scrying to the bottom and revealing a Command Tower. And while it seems Shatner only needs a reanimation spell, at some point Bal realizes there could be a reanimation creature that would bypass Ranger Captain, and Yukarin reminds the table of Shainer, so Bal and Vasher agree to both stop Shatner. Bal cracks the Ranger Captain and, in response, Vasher casts Marsh of the Swirling Mists on Creek, since this way Shatner has no mana to cast and activate Shainer. This way, Shatner tutors for a Knight Incarnate to clear the board. He draws, plays a Nictus Shrine to Nyx and evokes Knight Incarnate, entering and being sacrificed, triggering to give all creatures minus 3 minus 3, clearing the board of everything but Ariok Salvagers. Balthar the Defiled and Emil also return to their owner's hands, and we're now on Bal's turn. Shatner did miss the big butt on Salvagers, and it appears Vasher will take it from here. Bal recasts his Thrasius to try to find something from one activation and passes. Vasher starts his turn with a Dark Ritual. Since he's going for the LED, might as well use his cards in hand. He casts Noble Hierarch and follows it with his Lion's Eye Diamond. Everyone passes and Bal feels forced to activate Thrasius, looking for a Force of Negation. In response, however, Vasher casts an Abrupt Decay on Thrasius to try to remove potential from free spells. Bal then scries to the bottom and reveals an Arbor Elf. However, still with LED on the stack, Yukarin casts a Tainted Pact, and it didn't take much to find that Force of Negation, which he hardcasts on the LED, effectively shutting down Vasher. He still recasts his Thrasius and passes. We're now on Yukarin's turn, and after probing hand sizes, he goes for his Jeska's Wheel, choosing to add 5 red to his mana pool. He then cracks his treasures and uses 1 red to cast a Wish Cloud Talisman. He stops to think for a bit, but he is lacking artifacts in his graveyard to dig with Underworld Breach. This way, he activates Switch Cloud Talisman, passing it to his right, and searches for outs. After some discussions, Ragavan seems to be the least worst option, so he dashes it to attack Shatner, hoping to find something. He gets a treasure and exiles a Necropotence, which doesn't do the thing. He goes to his end step, returning Ragavan to his hand and passing. Shatner draws and proceeds to cast his Balthor the Defiled, treating Creek for another counter. He attacks Yukarin for 11, and remember the first Crick attack towards Vasher? And I'm gonna swing this 4-4 Crick at Vasher. Well, around mid-game, that attack was thought to be done to Yukarin, so the table has Yukarin at 10 commander damage, instead of 6, which has him die to commander damage. This mistake, however, won't change the outcome of the game. In the second main phase, he activates Nyctus to add 5 black mana to his mana pool, and uses 3 to cast a Grim Tutor, triggering Crick for another counter. He searches for the Mere Houseguard, which he casts right away, paying 2 life and triggering Creek. 
He then activates Balthar to be exiled and return all black and red creatures from graveyards to play, which in this case only affects him. Valentumber enters and triggers, and he searches for a Chainer Dementia Master to his graveyard. He then sacrifices Asmodeus to Demir Houseguard, regenerating it and uses Necrotic's Ooze ability from Asmodeus to draw 7 cards, paying 6 life through Creek. He now discards 2 lands and CDZ for triple black to activate Necrotic Ooze again, drawing 7 cards. He then casts a Mox Opal and discards 4 more cards for 4 black mana, and with the other floating mana he casts a Grey Merchant of Asphodel, entering and triggering for 12 Devotion, killing Vasher and Baal also scoops it up. GG. We'd like to remind the viewers that by the end of this game the tournament was running for close to 13 hours and everyone was exhausted. It was late in the night in the States and 5am in the morning in Portugal, so players might have missed a line or two during the game. While Shatner had a great start, the rest in peace held him for a while. Guild Drakes were seen all over, taking off players' engines. And Seedborn Muse eventually stuck for a turn cycle, but Ball wouldn't probably survive two turns. Sylvan Library also enabled Vasher to keep up in the game, after failing some land drops. Ranger Captain of Use eventually played the police role, but Creek just found fuel turn after turn and managed to pull through. We'd like to start the credits by thanking our current patrons, and especially Izanagi, TJ Rap, Mike Purr, Ajimo, Dragon House Cat, V, RJ, Hitted Shield, Pina, Ricardo, Dragon Sake, Katerina, Michael Bowen, Super Scaldi, Dog, Wyatt, and Wicked, our stack breakers. If you want to support us, you can do so by liking this video, subscribing, or by becoming a patron yourself. If you want to go through other Commander Adventures, click one of the videos on the right. If you want to talk with us about our games or other EDH-related matters, join us on Discord. Join us again next week for a new set of Commanders and more decisive plays. See you all then!